Lockheed Martin just confirmed that the SR-72 hypersonic engine is complete and ready for installation. This aircraft will cruise at Mach 6, that's 4,600 miles per hour, making it twice as fast as any operational military aircraft on Earth. But what if I told you that Stuntworks engineers have been secretly test flying a demonstrator since 2017, and that the engine technology they've developed makes everything else obsolete? There are several questions about this aircraft that the Pentagon desperately wants to keep classified. Questions about how they solve the impossible engineering challenge of transitioning from turbofan to scramjet power. Join us as we uncover the breakthroughs surrounding America's most secretive hypersonic program. The first credible reports about the SR-72 came out in 2007 when various sources reported that Lockheed Martin was developing a new super-fast aircraft designed to top out at over Mach 6. Eight facts about the Lockheed's mysterious SAR-72 Dark Star, but that was not the only development. Under DARPA's Advanced Full Range Engine Program, Aerojet Rocketdyne was contracted to demonstrate the viability of a turbine-based combined cycle engine. DARPA picks Aerojet Rocketdyne to build hypersonic jet engine, the key technology that would make hypersonic flights practical. This aircraft is a direct successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, and it is designed to overcome the critical limitation that forced the Blackbird's retirement, vulnerability to modern surface-to-air missiles. The SR-72 is being designed to achieve the same feat as the Blackbird, which famously outran more than 4,000 missiles fired at it. Lockheed Martin SR-72, son of Blackbird or Dark Star, what we know right now, the national interest. It is safe to say that Lockheed Martin announced that the SR-72 would be in development by the early 2020s with a maximum speed superior to Mach 6. Just before we get into the breathtaking details of the SR-72, let's take a peek into the capabilities of its legendary predecessor. The SAR-71 Blackbird could fly at Mach 3.2 over 2,400 miles per hour. Each aircraft cost approximately $34 million in 1964 money, that's over $300 million in today's dollars. Its titanium structure could withstand surface temperatures exceeding 900 degrees Fahrenheit. 27 years after its retirement, it still holds the world record as the fastest air-breathing aircraft ever built. The Blackbird completed over 3,500 operational missions without a single loss to enemy fire. But its key limitation was emerging missile technology. By the 1990s, advanced SAM systems could theoretically intercept even the mighty Blackbird. But now, American engineers have built something that makes the Blackbird look slow. The joint Lockheed Aerojet Rocketdyne engine will be a true game changer if it works like they have claimed. Technical revelation. Lockheed Martin Skunkworks have been working with Aerojet Rocketdyne to develop a method to integrate an off-the-shelf turbine with a supersonic combustion ramjet. SR-70's new hypersonic vehicle, something everyone said was impossible. But that's not all. According to Rob Weiss, Lockheed Martin's executive vice president for Skunk Works, their SR-72 combined cycle engine was already working and ready to be installed in an aircraft as early as 2017. SR-72, a successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, could be closer than you think to national interest. It gets even better. The engine solves the fundamental challenge that has plagued hypersonic flight for decades. Aerojet Rocketdyne developed technology that allows a dual-mode ramjet propulsion system with takeover velocity reduced to Mach 2 or lower. It's our Dash 72 hypersonic vehicle. Here's what makes this revolutionary. At Mach 6, the aircraft's skin temperature will exceed 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt steel. Engineers are considering composites like mixtures of carbon, ceramic and high-performance metals for manufacturing critical components. The turbine provides thrust from 0 to Mach 3. Then the scramjet takes over, accelerating the aircraft to its cruise speed of Mach 6. Both engines share a common inlet and exhaust nozzle, reducing drag by 50% compared to suppressed systems. However, there's more to the SR-72 than just speed. According to Aviation Week, this isn't just a reconnaissance platform, it's designed for strike missions too. The aircraft will be capable of carrying a variety of payloads, including munitions to engage ground targets. This explains why the Pentagon is investing billions despite having satellites for surveillance. The real breakthrough happened when Lockheed executive Jack O'Banian stated, We couldn't have made the engine itself. It would have melted down into slag if we had tried to produce it five years ago. They're using 3D printing to create cooling channels inside the engine walls themselves but it justifies why Lockheed Martin updated its SR-72 rep page, stating, A hypersonic plane does not have to be an expensive, distant possibility. In fact, an SR-72 could be operational by 2030. Multiple eyewitness reports from Palmdale, California in September 2017 describe an unknown aircraft producing a distinctive double sonic boom consistent with combined cycle engine operation. 
flight trackers showed military tankers orbiting at unusual altitudes during these sightings. The United States is devoted to dominating hypersonic technology and would invest anything possible to maintain air superiority. However, other nations, including China and Russia, are equally committed to developing their own hypersonic capabilities. Russia claims to have operational hypersonic missiles, while China has been testing their own scramjet engines. But here's the critical difference. The Senior 72 program represents one of the largest military investments in American history, with development costs likely exceeding $1 billion per aircraft. No other nation can match America's combined investment in material science, engine technology, and systems integration. The experimental aircraft that Tom Cruise flew in Top Gun Maverick looks incredibly realistic because it was engineers from Skunk Works who helped design it. Chinese intelligence agencies reportedly started satellite surveillance of Palmdale after seeing the film. It's a good thing the United States is known for maintaining technological superiority through programs exactly like this. Programs that seem impossible until suddenly they're operational. Take a moment and don't forget to like and subscribe. The SR-72 represents America's commitments to absolute air dominance through technology that our adversaries can't match or counter. When this aircraft becomes operational, it will render every existing air defense system on Earth obsolete. Can any nation really challenge American air superiority when we're flying at 4,600 miles per hour? Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.